Hey, welcome to the Wing Chun Kid channel where martial arts is the way of life. Today I'm going to show you five tips on how to punch faster, how to deliver the most blows per second that you possibly can. Here we go. Today I'm going to show you how to use chain punches. These are not boxing punches because in boxing they don't punch like this. This is called a chain punch made popular from Wing Chun and also from Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. A chain punch punches down the center line with a vertical fist like that. Now with boxing gloves, won't, it's not very practical because your gloves are so big and you won't be able to move your gloves very quickly in this position. But without gloves, this is exactly what this is designed for and this is what, exactly what Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do likes to use, the chain punch. The first tip is to relax. If you're not relaxed and your muscles are tensed and clenched, It'll take you too much time to move those clenched muscles and you waste way too much energy. So you need to relax so that it gives you nice slap, nice snappy punches. Now obviously they don't do as much damage as a really strong punch, but we're talking about speed at that moment. So you need to have speed and also have power, but right now we're going to talk about improving your speed. So number one is to relax and get those quick snappy punches. Tip number two is to use circular motion for fluidity. So you don't you waste your energy in doing choppy motions, even though it's straight. Now ideally, you want to have a trajectory go straight to the target, but you also want to use the circular motion so that you maximize the momentum of the motion of your hands. So circular motion like this, but make sure you move in a little bit so that when your circular motion meets a contact point, that the energy is going forward. Okay, so don't do this and just glance at it because this won't do any damage because you're just scratching the surface. But move in a little bit, use that circular motion, but stop it inside the target. So using the circular motion, increase your speed and increase your effectiveness in delivering fast punches. The third tip to increase your speed and power is to use your footwork. A little known secret to punching is to use your feet and synchronize them with your punches. So what I did here in the demonstration was I synchronized my left foot with my left hand and I synchronized my right foot with my right hand. So that when you're delivering fast punches, left, right, left, right, left, right. So that when I shift my weight onto the left, it punches. When I shift, shift my left, shift my weight to my right, it punches. So it connects that left side and the right side of the body. Now, this may not actually increase the speed because if you don't use your body, you get the same speed. But if you use your body and combine it with the legs, you get way more power while keeping the speed. So a lot of people, they just do their hands and they get the speed, but they have no power because it's not connected to the ground it's not connected with your body. But when you combine the footwork with the speed, then you get to connect power with your speed. Fourth tip on punching fast is to use breathing. Now you want to deliver more power in your punches, you would breathe out or breathe in while you punch. So what you want to do is go Just breathe out when you're punching. Now we're punching faster, so I'm not just going to breathe out, 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 we're just going to breathe out for about four and in for about four. Okay, so out, in, out, in. We're trying to do as many punches as possible. So you want to be able to breathe so that you can do more punches without losing your breath. All right, so combine your breathing with your punches. Either breathe in or breathe out while you're doing the punches. So you can do more punches and also have more power in your speed punches. The last tip on increasing your speed in punches is to use weights. Now you can just use light weights like these wooden, uh, wooden sticks or you can use dumbbells. So just do the same punching. You can do it really painfully slow while keeping all your structure and breathing and technique perfect. So do it really, really slow. Now you can do that really slow 
for an extended period of time, let's say five minutes or 10 minutes with heavier and heavier weights. Now, you can get good at that. Then when you throw off the weights, your hands feel like feathers and you can punch a lot faster. So the fifth tip is to use weights, but do them super slow, painfully slow. So those are my five tips on punching faster using the chain punch technique. Now remember, these are not boxing punches because you can't do these with boxing gloves on. Chain punch is one of the only techniques that allows you to deliver this many punches per second. So use these tips wisely and train hard. If you like this video, make sure you check out some of my other videos on my channel and click the subscribe button right here to get more tips on training for martial arts and self-defense. We'll see you in the next video.